Hey everyone, this is Nick Molina with Embrace Tutoring. In this video, we'll be covering number 23 from the Calculator Math section of the College Board Practice Test 10. Remember, these videos provide additional explanations and content review, but you'll always want to attempt the problems independently. Before we begin, do us a favor and subscribe to the link below to receive the most recent videos and practice problems. Okay, let's get started. So it says some values of x and their corresponding values of y are shown in the table above, where a is a constant. If there is a linear relationship, okay, they're telling us the relationship between x and y, which of the following equation represents the relationship? All right, so it looks like our answer choice is they give us the equations, and they give us a set of table of values. So if I was to take any of these points and plug them into um, these equations, it's only going to satisfy one of them. All right, so let's start with our first point. We have a zero. Right, I'm gonna start with the first model here. So our x value is a and our y value is zero. If I simplify that, that is true. So the first point works for the model in option a. All right, let's try the next point, which is three a comma negative a. I'm gonna plug that in. So now x is equal to three a and y is equal to negative a. Let's see if this statement is true. So we get 3a minus 2a equals a. That is true as well. And the last column we have the point 5a negative 2a. All right, and we're plugging x's in as 5a. So 5a plus 2 times negative 2a equals a. Let's see if that's true. So that's 5a minus 4a equals a. That is also true. So it looks like we got lucky and our first answer choice happened to be our answer here. So just know that if you're given the equations and you're given a bunch of points that should be on that line, so those points are only going to satisfy one of the equations provided. Okay, so that gives us answer choice a. And that's it. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions about this solution or if you solve this one in a different way, please be sure to put them in the comment section below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.